Hello there, Whipper here, and once again, welcome back to another GTA 5 mod showcase. And today, guys, I'm actually going to be showing you two mods. We have the No Traffic mod and the Realistic Top Speeds mod. And I think I'm going to start off by showing you the No Traffic mod. But the reason why I'm doing two mods in this video is because they work really well together. Uh, because one of them makes cars a lot faster, and the other one makes it much easier to drive at high speeds uh, down the streets, because it removes the cars. Uh, but let's just start off with the no traffic mod. So let's just get out of this car park and then activate this mod. Now, what you're probably thinking right now is, I thought you just said no traffic and I can clearly see loads of cars on the road. Uh, and that's because this mod works in a way you probably wouldn't expect. And I think it's an improvement over the normal way of doing this, where you just like remove all of the cars from the world and it's like a barren wasteland. Uh, but what this mod does is you have to use a toggle key, which in this case is the letter T on your keyboard. And what it does is it removes all of the cars in a certain radius around you. So if I just press T now, like so, you can see all of the cars around me just disappeared. And that car that was just driving down the road has also disappeared once it entered the range around me. And it's a really good way of doing things because it still makes it look like the city is actually populated in the distance. Uh, but as soon as the cars get close to you, they just get removed and it's pretty neat. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to go and drive now and show you this mod in action as I'm driving down the road. So you can see here, the cars are just popping out of existence completely. It's just amazing, really. I just love it as you're driving, and you don't have to worry about crashing into anything because the cars just aren't there anymore. So it's just really easy to drive at high speeds down the streets, which you just normally wouldn't be able to do in the game. And I prefer it over having, like, no cars in the whole, um, like, world because that would just look really weird and it wouldn't feel like the city's alive and it'd be a bit boring. Uh, and the fact that you can toggle it on and off, so if I just toggle it off now, like so, you get a message at the bottom there, just under the speedometer, and you can see the cars now aren't disappearing, I can collide with them, and it's just really simple and effective way of doing things. But the no traffic mod also does have another function, and you can actually stop yourself from being thrown out the car when you uh, have a high speed impact with something. So if I just press Y, you can see anti-eject is now enabled, and if I crash into a lamppost or something at an extremely high speed, or that car, uh, where I'd normally be thrown out, so here's a treat. Uh, you can see I was about to be thrown out, but the game actually teleported me straight back into my seat, and I can still drive the car again. And where this comes into its own is when you're trying to do like stunts on a bike, and you want to like be able to land stuff without being thrown out, uh, you can just enable that mode, and you'll never be thrown off your bike. It's just brilliant, and I'll show you a bit of that later on. So, now let's move on to the other mod I'm going to be showing you today, which is the bigger one, and that is the Realistic Top Speeds mod. And this is just so much fun, uh, because normally in the game, you would have noticed that cars, whatever you're driving, doesn't matter if you're driving like a supercar, like the Entity XF, or a really crappy car, like, I don't know, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but you've seen them, the really bad ones. Uh, it doesn't matter what car you're driving, you're always limited to a maximum of 120 mile per hour, uh, which I find really annoying because I want to actually be able to drive at like ridiculously insane speeds, like 200 mile per hour in my Entity XF, uh, but the game doesn't let you do that. And I think the reason why they've done this is because this game, of course, was released on old generation consoles, which just couldn't handle loading the world while you're driving at 200 mile per hour. Uh, but now we have it on PC, which clearly can cope with that. So I really think Rockstar should have like made it so all of the cars drive at the appropriate speeds, which you'd expect. Because of course all the cars in the game are actually based upon real cars in real life. The point being, uh, like this car here is the, um, the car in Sultan, of course. And it's based upon the Impreza in real life, the Subaru Impreza. And also you've got things like the Entity XF, which is based on the Koenigsegg, I'm probably saying that wrong, uh, but a Koenigsegg CCX, I believe it is, uh, which in real life can actually hit 250 mile an hour, and in the game, it's limited to 120, which is just pathetic. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to show you now what this mod does. So I'm going to enable the No Traffic mod, and then we're going to drive, and you'll see instantly, I'll be able to go straight past 120 mile an hour. So you can see here, we've just reached 120, we're going on to 140, and we're up to 160 there, wow! And I wasn't looking where I'm going, and now I'm flying off the edge of a cliff. But you get the point. You can now drive at ridiculously insane speeds you'd never be able to do in the normal game, and it's just a lot more fun. And I'm actually pleasantly like surprised at how well this actually works. You would have thought that the handling at like 160 mile an hour would be really bad, uh, but you can see I'm going 130, and I can still turn fine. And there's no real issues. I can still drive perfectly fine. It's a bit more difficult, of course, because you have to, like, keep an eye way ahead because you're going a lot quicker. But still, it's just so awesome to be able to drive at this speed. 
I believe the top speed of this car now is around 160 mile an hour. And when you actually upgrade the cars, this one is upgraded, it actually still increases the top speed. And it does work well for cars like this because normally it'd be able to achieve 150 mile an hour. Uh, but upgraded, this thing can reach 165, I believe it is. So if we just had a nice straight, I would be able to show you this. Uh, but yeah, it's just really cool that you can drive at these speeds now. Uh, but let's swap over to a different car which has a much higher top speed. And I can show you how ridiculous this mod can get. It's just so amazing. I just love it. So I've now swapped up to a max upgraded Entity XF, as you can see here. And we're on a highway, so I should be able to see how fast this thing can really go. Uh, so I've got my speedometer at the bottom there. Just keep note of that because it's just insane how fast this thing accelerates. In fact, we can even test it. So if I go into my speedometer options, I can go to extras. And we've got a 0-62 timer. So let's just enable that. And then hide the menu and just watch this. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Yes, we're already up to 60 now. 2.7 seconds, 0 to 60. And we're already up to 150 after that. Wow, that's incredible. And up to 200 and up to 250. Normally, this car would be uh, limited to 250 mile an hour without any upgrades. But now I've maxed upgraded it. Look at this, we're already up to 300 mile an hour. That's insane. How am I still managing to control this? That's what I love about this mod, you can still control it at these insane speeds, it doesn't matter that you're going 300 mile an hour, you can still turn corners as long as they're not sharp, it's just so fun, look at that, we're up to 320 mile an hour, oh dear this is close, oh I almost crashed the car there but we're still going, this is just crazy, <laughs> oh this is so good, so good. And we're still going, we're still going. Imagine if I didn't have that no traffic mod installed. I just wouldn't have a hope of getting up to this speed. Okay, we're up to 334 mile an hour. I think that's pretty much the limit of this car. And we've just totaled it. Uh, but luckily I've got the car invincibility mode in, um, like enabled. So we haven't actually smashed it up too badly. But still, wasn't that incredible how fast the acceleration was and the speed that we actually achieved in the end. That was just crazy. I just love this car. And the fact that you can still handle at that speed just surprised me so much. It's just so much fun. You really need to download this mod and test it out yourself because it's just awesome. So, just to see how well this car actually does handle at those insane speeds, we're just going to drive through some mountain passes here and see how well we do. And I've got the no traffic disabled now, um, so we should be able to collide with cars just to make it a little bit more interesting. But you can see we're going 100 mile an hour. I can still turn fine. Almost hit that car, but we're all good. And wow, look at that drift, that's pretty nice. Uh, you will find that the cars actually drift a lot better now they've got a lot more power. Uh, so you can actually drift cars a lot nicer. I haven't got the like drift mod installed, so don't worry about that. Uh, but it still drifts quite nicely. You wouldn't really expect the mod to do that, but because it's got more power, I guess the back end slides out a bit more. Uh, but you can see that the handling isn't really affected by the high speeds, although we're not really going too um, fast right now. Uh, but the roads are a bit windy, so you would kind of expect that. I'm not going to be able to go like 140 mile an hour round a corner. Uh, but you can still handle fairly well, which I just wasn't expecting. I thought the cars would be pretty much impossible to control at really fast speeds, but it's not too bad. Not too bad in the slightest. And the acceleration is just insane. You, one moment you're doing 60 mile an hour, the next thing you, you know, you're doing like 140. And it's just... In a blink of an eye, you're going so quickly, and I'm sorry about your Ford GT, I just smashed it up. Um, but still, yeah, I really recommend that you download this mod and just give it a go, it's just amazing. Uh, but let's just have some fun with some bikes next, I think, because it also works with bikes. Yeah, the top speeds of bikes are unlimited now, well they're not unlimited, but they have been increased. And it also counts with upgrades as well, so let's just park it up and swap over to a bike. And see what we can do, we should be able to hit some amazing stunts on a bike now. So, now I've swapped over to a fully upgraded Batty, and let's see how fast this bike goes, and how well it handles, because of course this thing's now got a speed, like top speed, of around 180 miles per hour. Imagine doing stunts at 180 miles an hour, that's what I'm going to be testing out, but look at this. So we're driving 140 now, let's see how the handling is at 140. Oh, no, there's a lamppost there, let's enable anti-eject, right back on the bike. So even if you crash and you forgot to like put the anti-eject on, you can still get teleported back to your vehicle if you press um, Y quick enough. Uh, which is pretty cool, but let's just keep going and you can see how well this thing's handling right now Look at this 140 mile an hour and I hit something, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's try that again Okay, yeah, look at that 120 mile an hour and we're having no problems turning around this corner. Oh, it's amazing Oh, that was so close. Oh, let's break a bit and there's a car. Ooh, wow, there's some really close overtakes right now Oh, this is amazing how well this thing handles and you saw there I just got ejected but teleported straight back on the bike. Just super cool. Anyway, let's do some stunts now. Oh, yeah Okay, that went really badly 
<laughs> yeah, I'm no stunter. Uh, but you should be able to do, theoretically, better stunts. Now you can actually go quicker, because you can now hit ramps at like 180 mile an hour instead of 120, uh, which should make it a lot easier to do like really cool tricks and gain loads of distance and stuff. Uh, but here's like a hill. Let's go up here and see what happens. Whoa, look how far we're going. Yep, this is pretty fast. That was a double backflip. I don't think I'm going to go for the triple. That's not going to end well. Uh, did we land it? I'm not even sure. We've got the no eject on, so who knows? Uh, okay, okay, come on, bike. Oh, that no eject just saved me there, didn't it? Uh, but you can see these bikes are just so much quicker now, he says, as he gets stuck under a bridge, really. Anyway, avoid that tree. Let's get going again. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is so much fun. I keep saying that over and over again, but really this mod is like the most fun I've had in a mod since, like, well, actually it is the most fun I've had in a GTA 5 mod so far. Oh, it's just incredible. I'm gonna land in the tree. Oh, but the speed of this thing, it's just so awesome. And of course, I forgot that when you wheelie, you actually get sped up more, so post. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and I just about avoided the water. I just love how we are like get ejected and then it just suddenly teleports me back and I just like fly off into the distance and then just suddenly pop back on the bike it's just so good uh, but yeah guys that's pretty much everything for this mod I can imagine you can do amazing things with the new top speeds and the um, like bike uh, stunts and stuff like that it's just gonna be amazing uh, but yeah thank you for watching guys and I'll be seeing you next GTA 5 mod showcase and if you have enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like Oh, am I going to land this? Am I going to land this? Uh, just about. No, no, that, that was bad.